Okay, Simon, you've got thunder rain uh, in the twilight glow stakes this Saturday at Sandown over the 1,400 metres. Yeah, terrific run the other day. Um, just got beat cup day. It was a bit unfortunate, but uh, did everything right. Sort of the call for we tried to make a sit and sprint, but now we sort of know how to ride her. Just let her roll along. So, um, you know, she's taken no harm from the run and probably improved. And then you've got, of course, Star of Giselle, who we all know about, and uh, unlucky not to run in the stakes, but she gets her chance in the Eclipse stakes this weekend and tries to make it four out of four. Yeah, well, going to the 1800 the first time is probably the only query. Um, looks like a nice race for her. It's three weeks in between, just hope she doesn't pull too hard, but uh, she's had a, a, enough work to warrant that, and hopefully uh, she can just roll along and you know catch me if you can. And then you've got Shani Rose in the Lapine Funeral Summon Stakes over 1,500 metres and coming off a good win at Bendigo last start. Yeah, it's good to see the win like that and just, uh, you know, she didn't just go bang, she sort of just grinded to the line and, you know, put a space on them and that's how you sort of wanted, wanted her to win. Uh, you know, people get the thing she's a bit of a dog, but she's just, you know, run up against better horses on the day. So she's drawn well to get good cover, um, roll forward again and, you know, she's really improved off the run. And going back up that distance won't concern her? I oh, know, I think the, that's, that's, that's what she's after. She just, if you put her back in the sprint, she just gets run off her legs and gets too far out of the ground. So distance will suit and the barrier is ideal. And then twilighting, she comes alongside Shani Rose and ran a 10th last place in a field of 16. Yeah, look, she carried the 60, you know, and the 1700 is way too far. So back to the 14 is going to suit her. It's just drawn a pretty ordinary barrier. So we're going to have to... Either if she jumps well, go forward or back, just depending on how she jumps. So going really, really well this mare. Put a line through that run the other day in her form previous. That was fantastic. And she's really, really come on since that run. So, uh, you know, I'll be keeping an eye out for her if she gets some luck. Yeah, you said put a line through that. And, of course, last start over the 1,400 metres she did win at Caulfield. So she'll be competitive again. Oh, for sure. And, uh, you know, like the, the mile of the Seymour Cup, she just come to an end the last bit. And pretty, pretty competitive field that. Um, and... As you said, 1,400 Caulfield, so we, we think the distance is about where she's at. And the best for the day from your eye? Oh, look, you can't go past Dara Dizel, but, uh, you know, probably thunder rain. You know, she looks like she's improved off the run the other day. Also been a long spring for you and uh, coming to an end. Uh, out of the stable, which one caught your eye? Oh, look, we just had runners here and there and... Um, you know, uh, you know, Star Giselle's probably been our, our star for the whole sort of spring. And, you know, we had Crystal Webb go around and he's in the paddock, hopefully have a nice autumn and it looks like, you know, he'll improve off the, a nice spell. So he's probably one to look out for in the autumn.